My name is Henry, I'm around Dub Studio, and I do a lot of mastering, um, a lot online, and also uh, some attended sessions as well. Um, I work in most genres that DJ producers work in, so if you're a DJ producer of any genre, you might want to uh, you know, use one of my services. Um, I do dub plates, and I do mastering as well. Uh, stereo mastering, and also do stem mastering, and I'll talk a bit more about that later. doing is, is bringing everything down in the mixer and having the monitors high so that gives you massive dynamic range to play with so then all of a sudden you'll turn all the faders down because everything will be too high and then I mean the mixer is going to have what 32 bit of, of dynamic range to work in you could work in the bottom 16 bit or the top 16 bit or the middle 16 bit wouldn't make any difference so you might as well work in the middle or bottom 16 bit so you, you could bring the master down bring it down to you know, minus 12 dB, and then that's a good working volume. The most common use, I guess, for a multiband compressor is, is a de Essentially, a de is like a split band compressor that's acting on um, the sibilant range uh, of the of, of vocals. So it depends on, on the vocalist, but it could be, you know, anywhere from, I don't know, 4, four or 5K, you know, up to sort of 10K, that sort of, that sort of region around here. Um, that we'd want to be working on and we'd want to do this because if, if for example we used just an EQ um, it would it would always uh, be affecting the, the tonal balance of the piece whereas if we use a dynamic um, EQ or, or multiband dynamic compressor um, we can set it so that it only takes um, effect when it's needed if you click on matching, you see that the the plot of the of the EQ has changed, and it's given you the EQ curve that you'd need to use to match the um, the purple one to the yellow one, because in the snapshots here you've got the purple is the source and the yellow is the target. So that's just another interesting feature of the Isotope Ozone EQ. And those 16, 16 bit of, of space that, you know, our target um, format is going to be a CD or MP3 or, a, or you know, vinyl's got less than 16 bit, but you're looking at that and um, this is the loudest and that's the quietest. And what we tend to do when we want to um, make stuff louder is that we reduce the dynamic range and push everything up. So what, what tends to happen is that you, okay, so that's your actual dynamic range um, and you want to go for something like that. So what do you do? You just lock the top off and then, and then boost everything up and bring it up. So you, effectively you lose that, but what you've actually lost is that because you've, you've taken the very loudest bits, chopped those up and moved everything up. But that's not the only way to do it, and you can. That's downward compression, and it's. But usually, when you downward compress something, you, you use make up gain. So you compress it down and then bring it up. Um, but you could also use upward um, compression. <laughs> <laughs> 